What's up everyone? Back again with some more Gundam Evolution gameplay. This time we're playing Sazabi. Now there's been, I've seen a lot of discussion between people about whether or not this game has a tank role. And I think regardless of what side of the argument you're on for that, there's no arguing that Sazabi is the closest to it, aside from maybe gun tank. I mean, you've got 1400 HP, the highest amount in the game. You've got a shield. Um, but you still can go down pretty quick if the enemy team is focusing you and especially if they use certain abilities to get through your shield like you might have seen that gundam use there um and you are a close range character um very very effective at close range not so effective at long range you don't have a ton of options um so, all right i got i gotta talk about it. did you did you see this look at this how did i not get a hit there i don't know what my ping was or if the enemy's ping was bad but i don't know something with that pale rider Anyway, uh, you're very effective at close range, but some of your hardest people to fight are also at close range. Pretty much all of the melee characters are strong against the zombie because, for one, all melee attacks go through shields. And two, um, stuns get through shields, and they don't get blocked by that, at least at least most of them. So, um, Barbados, um, both his, uh, his charge um, swing and his jump slam both get through your shield, and if he combos them together, even with that 1400 HP, you're still going down in one combo. So no matter how tanky you are, the fact you can still get a one shot does kind of suck. And then Melee Zaku is really strong because all of his attacks, even the projectiles that come out of his axe, uh, still go through your shields. Like you can see right there, I still took full damage. Um, and just the um, the regular uh, axe swings when they're up close. But on top of that, um, Melee Zaku also has the Shoulder Bash, which, although it doesn't really help them at all, because they can already get through your shields, if they hit you with the Shoulder Bash, it makes you drop your shield, which makes you... which is really good for their allies to attack you as well. So, Melee Zaku is probably the worst one to fight. Um, Barbados, you can kind of maneuver a little bit, and if he doesn't get the full combo on you, you, you still have a decent chance of surviving. Um, and then, Exia is another one. Um, Exia is... Exia, everyone always um, loops in Exia with the melee characters, which is partially true. I mean, your primary isn't a melee attack, I, and I guess you could argue that melee Zaku's kind of isn't as well, because that's a projectile. But all of the offensive abilities Exia has will go through your shields, so that's also a pretty rough matchup. But the one upside is that when they have to get up close to hurt you, um, which is also your most effective range, so it can go either way sometimes. Like you see here, um, when I hit my shots, at least, I'm doing pretty good damage to that melee Zaku. You also do have the axe, so if you if you do manage to land that, that's going to do a ton of damage. Yeah, I got him there. I had some backup, but it worked out. Um, and uh, you can you have a decent chance of getting away. You only have one dash, which which uh, kind of stinks. But you can, if there's any allies nearby, you can fly to them with your um, your dash ability as well, or you can throw your axe and dash to it. And I forget to use that ability a lot. You won't see me use it much this game. It really is is really good. Oh, and right here I hear that that pal rider is G maneuver going off. I'm trying to help my allies, barely poking them. At least my shots are connecting this time. <laughs> but I come back over here just sitting on the health pack. Um, so yeah, right now they have both the Gundam and the melee Zaku. Oh, also the turn A. If he, if he lands that throw on me, that's also trouble. Oh, and here I activate my G maneuver. I don't know if that was the right call. Um, so Zabi's G maneuver is really strong, but. It does make you kind of a sitting duck when you first activate it. Because um, you put your shield... You can't hold your shield up while you're activating it. So it's probably best to use it when you're not already in combat. And then to go in and just kind of keep your shield up. Because they can keep attacking while your shield is up. So as long as you can stay alive, it's really strong. There, unfortunately, I was not able to. I tried to get to that health pack to heal. Uh, but I think I narrowly missed it. And that Dom took me out. We're still okay here. We didn't get that plant, but we're, I think we're going to try for this one here. And I would rather be playing on this one. Sazabi is much more effective on this one because I can't get shot as easily from above. Stuff. So I'll take out that Gundam G maneuver in one shot. <laughs> Talked about it before, but that is... Uh, that G maneuver is a struggle sometimes. Um, and I can kind of just rotate um, from the lower area back up here. Take out that Exeus. That's one of the melee threats down. Um, this Dom, I didn't even see him. Got on top of him. Doing a ton of damage, but... Nah, the other melee comes in, and that's what I'm talking about. Like, I my shield, I think, still had about 800 HP or so. Um, but against those melee characters, it's just not going to do you any good. And it does slow you down when you're holding it up as well. It doesn't slow down your shots, and your accuracy, I'm fairly certain, stays the same. But um, 
you can't strafe quite as well. And there we go, look at that X. That's, that's, that's really nice, um, thing to have an option. So Sabi's just good at playing objectives like that. Sabi and Gundam, and I guess Marasai as well, just the ability to stun people or pull them off of it to interrupt the thing. Because you, because a lot of people like to body block, and I guess they could body block the X, but, uh, in that case, I had a clear shot from above, and I interrupted that disarm because without the axe, I don't think I would have been able to take them out with my shotgun quick enough. So the stun really came in clutch there. And we were really close to not being able to get that first point, but now we're going for the second one. And they're still rocking the Gundam and the Melee Zaku and the Exia. I don't know if that's in a response to me. I don't think I've been doing that great so far, um, but it is making things a bit rough. Of course, Zappi out here, and they have to turn A. Oh my gosh, so four people on their team can get through my shield with at least one of their abilities. And then GM, Jim, it's kind of a interesting matchup, so Zappi versus Jim. Um, both of us have to get through each other's shields. I do have the stun, which probably gives me a bit of an advantage, and just more HP in general. But if it's at more of a mid-range fight, Jim probably wins, because uh, their guns is going to be a bit more effective, and they're small, so less pellets are going to hit. But it's not too hard for Sasabi to get in because Jim also only has one dash. This Exia harassing my backline, trying to help him out. Now going for the disarm again. Here comes the X. There we go. Easy takeout. Here's Exia using the G maneuver. I don't even really know if I need to hold my shield up here. I guess there's no harm in it, unless I really think I'm going to be able to strafe the attacks. I'm just thinking that, you know, if, if Exia throws out the, uh, the daggers in between, it will block that at least. I actually used my uh, scan there. So if you don't know the scan, unlike my heroes, it does actually mark for your teammates, but it doesn't go through walls. So as soon as you see someone while you have the ability to active, it marks it for your whole team. So really nice, uh, especially if your team isn't too close to you and they're not going to see the people as well. Nice stab. And there's my G maneuver again. I'm just holding my shield up. I was getting shot from above, but thankfully I think they were low, so my G maneuver took them out. And the shield's not going to do good against them, but it was still good enough. And that's round one. Not bad. Alright, going into round two here. Unfortunately, one of their players did leave. I'm not really sure why. I guess I'm, it might have, they might have just uh, disconnected outside of their control. Because they were doing pretty well. I don't think it would have made much sense to rage quit. I mean, they almost held us at the first point. Um, we'll see how well they can do 5v6. They're still running the Exia, but they don't have the melee Zaku. Or the turn A anymore. It's but they have a Marasai. Now Marasai isn't too great against Sazabi because the hook does not go through your shield. So as long as you've got that shield up and you're looking in the same direction as he is, you're actually gonna be okay. Man, this Gundam is doing a really good job stunning me, but thankfully I managed to juke a little, take him out. But fortunately the rest of the team over there, and they are able to get the repair as well. Really unfortunate. Yeah, only five players on their team. They're, they're doing pretty well so far. They're, it looks like they're going to push to the waypoint. The enemy has captured the waypoint. And although they have it capped, I see that Sauron team is still fighting. So instead of holding back here, I'm going to try and come in to help. Looks like the Dom is on the point. Got one other. I see. I hear the sniper fire on the left. I'm like, all right, I'm just going to go in on him. He actually gets the body shot there. But can't get through my shield. It's another body shot, but... Hard, hard for Sniper to win that matchup up close. And then, I know I'm probably not going to live here, but I think maybe get one more kill. And I basically was able to distract. I took out the Sniper, downed Marasai, and two of them stuck around to revive. So, really, there's only one player left on their team that was doing anything else. So, a pretty good distraction. Now, it looks like they're swapping to B. Now, on this map, on offense with the Sniper... You really want to plant on A point because unless, it's kind of hard to flank the sniper down that long sight line, and a lot of people just won't even think about it. They'll think they'll see the point is open, like it's safe, like over the disarm, it's just an easy headshot. So that's the strategy I see a lot of teams go for, and it's pretty effective. If if you know about it, and you and you and they're not doing a good job of defending the sniper, it's not quite as effective. Um, yeah, still here we're kind of hoping they plant at B just because it's so much easier for us to defend. This Exia, so hard to chase down. He ran into two of my teammates here. Still got out, it looks like, though. And they got two over here. I missed my axe, unfortunately. Actually coming in with the slash, and he actually goes through my shield to hit my teammate, take him out. 
I'm not giving up yet. Trying to hide around that corner. Nope. Could not get away. And they're planting in at A. They do still have the sniper, so... And look there, they got the gun tank. I've seen the kill feed. So I'm like, alright, I know there's a sniper. I'm not gonna just go for the disarm. He does the G-Mador so I know he's actually up there. And I'm surprised he didn't see me. He doesn't seem to notice I just come up here and take him out. <laughs> so there's that strategy. Finished off. So now we can disarm, as long as people aren't around it. I got the Exia as well. See, that's what I'm talking about, that close range fight. Exia can get through my shield, but if I land the shotgun shots, pretty pretty tough uh, for them to win that. So we got the disarm when no sniper is around. Team did a good job. And now we'll have to see if they keep going for A or if they try for B again. Like I said, I'm hoping for B. It's it's just good. It's a good point for Sasabi, and the sniper is far less effective. So no matter what, I'm just hoping for it. And this gun, I'm always getting these hits on my shield. Now you may not you uh, you may have noticed that the um, the hyper hammer that knocks away my shield, along with. Uh, they don't have a, a melee Zaku anymore, but the, the shoulder bash. It doesn't destroy your shield, it actually just disables it for a few seconds. Because because when your shield is destroyed, you have to wait till it recharges from zero to I think around half. Uh, so I think around 700 in order for you to be able to even use it again. But if it gets disabled, it, uh, it actually just comes back at the same HP it was at before it got disabled. So in that case, it was around 1300. So, um... You can you can still be in an okay spot if you get away. You're you're gonna be when your shield does come back, it's not gonna be like low health and almost destroyed necessarily. So that is something to keep in mind. I don't even know if I really noticed it in this game. Here's the sniper. <laughs> that Gundam, oh my gosh, he's he's doing it right. Like I am I'm, <laughs> I'm I'm frustrated, but he's playing the character well. That's how you should be doing that. The Gundam versus Zabi is is pretty easy. Um matchup to get that. At least destroy the shield for your teammates. Thankfully my teammate got the repair. And yeah, they're still trying to push here. I think their sniper's probably wishing they weren't. Um, then I got my G-Maneuver. Thankfully, as big and fancy as Unicorn's G-Maneuver looks, it does not go through the shield. But it did break it, and you see what I'm talking about here. It's slowly recharging up if you watch that gauge. Uh, I can't even use it till... Yep, right there. 650, I guess, is when it came back. Um, and they're still trying. Get the disarm. And unfortunately, they put up a valiant fight for only 5v6. But they were not able to overcome us. Pretty good game of Sazabi there, though. And what's this Pale Rider MVP? Unless... <laughs> That's right, it was actually me. Those are, those are pretty rare, those MVP screens. I still don't really know what causes them, but... Uh, it's the fake-out one where it turns out to be a different character. But yeah, that was, uh, that was my Sazabi game. Hope you learned a thing or two about playing the characters. It's unfortunate that the last round wasn't able to be a fair 6v6, but I think there was still a lot of good action in there. If you want to see more, you can catch me on Twitch, or you can stay tuned on this channel for more Gundam Evolution videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.